I'm pumped this morning. This time on Hot Shots. You always get jitters a little bit, but it just seemed like I had them a little bit worse. I remember when she was small, I was changing diapers and they would call my name to shoot a stage, so I'm lucky to have her here. All by myself and trying to figure out this course of fire, and this was probably the most difficult one to figure out. Three of the best shooters on earth. Mike Dump. You guys got me spooked with those cameras, man. And behind the scenes. This is total access to shooting's biggest stars. The great ones. The hot shots. Few places in North America can match the storied history of Boston, Massachusetts. And 45 minutes outside the city, Max Michel is trying to write his own chapter. The 30-year-old from New Orleans is about to compete in the Area 7 Championship of the United States Practical Shooting Association, being held in the Boston suburb of Harvard. A win would be his sixth in seven matches on the year. It's been a great year. Just about everything I've competed in, I've won. Um, and if I haven't won, I've been right there uh, in contention to win it. Max will be doing more than simply trying for another victory. He's the defending USPSA national champion and this match will serve as his final tune-up before he defends his title in the desert outside Las Vegas. Being the returning champion is never easy. I um, mean, you know, I've been there many a times and it's never easy. Everybody's gunning for you. Yes, this is a major championship, but with the Nationals not too far from now, everything I'm doing here is, uh, is competition for Vegas. It's exactly what it is for me. This is competition to prepare and train for Vegas. Just trying to go out there and shoot the centers of the targets as quickly as I can and let the scores fall where they fall. That's the plan. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Jerry Michalak might be the most decorated shooter in the history of competitive shooting, but he's not one to flaunt it. I'm not too much of a big trophy guy, but, but this one... This one is different. It's got a special place for this one. Recognition for 20 straight International Revolver Championships has at least earned a place indoors. It's 20 years consecutive, which is pretty much a milestone in any sport. Uh, I was just really happy to last that long and keep up the enthusiasm to the level to where I could win 20 of them in a row. And uh, what can I say? There it is. I'm just happy it's there. So long road, long, hard road. A long, hard road with no end in sight. The shooting season is now in full swing, and after a quick stop at home. It's saying it's ready to play, so I guess it's time to go shoot again. Jerry is back at it. This time, wife Kay and daughter Lena are along for the AR15.com Pro-Am, a three-gun match at the Rock Castle Shooting Center in Park City, Kentucky. I'm pumped this morning. That's right. That's right. Clint Upchurch is also here. So big daddy. Fresh off a win of his own at the Colt three-man three-gun. While Jerry competes this week in the more equipment-restrictive tactical optics division, Clint will shoot open, where the guns are heavily modified. In open, speed is the commodity. You can use Bigger magazines, bipods, uh, you got another sight on the rifle. The shotgun capacity comes up. Even with the pistol capacity, you know, you run more rounds. Compensated gun, dot sight. Pretty much if you can mount it on there or put it together, you can bring it up here and shoot it. It's the most fun out here. I don't understand why everybody doesn't shoot it. But no matter the division, strategy is still key. And Clint is struggling with some early indecision. Hmm. I'm having trouble deciding how I want to shoot the rifle. I think it's going to be fine. After using a table for support in engaging a series of short-range paper targets, Clint's dilemma is whether to stay in that position for the long-range targets or to take the extra time to go prone for the added support. The problem is that I know what works best for me. I know it's better for me to go prone anytime I have a chance. I don't know, maybe I can just catch a knee and shoot them or something. But it always happens to me in a match. Probably be the easiest. That I look at something and say, well, hey, maybe this is a better way. And I start entertaining those ideas. I'm thinking I'm going to like load my rifle just at the corner of that table. And I'm just going to take the corner of that table and shoot that paper. 
it's a dangerous bit of uncertainty because at this level, even a fraction of a second can be the difference between winning and losing. If you take one or two extra shots, the time that you save to not get in that prone position, you just gave it right back. Damn. Hot Shots, presented by Cheaper Than Dirt, is brought to you by Cheaper Than Dirt, America's ultimate shooting sports discounter. Daniel Defense, lighter, stronger, better. Mossberg and the 930 JM Pro Series, the official shotgun of Jerry Michelak. NRA Sports. And by Colt. Champion three-gunner Clint Upchurch shoots the Colt CCR Pro. Professional shooters are typically quick to help one another out. Hey, Jay, you know what I forgot? Do you happen to have a towel? And today, Max Michelle will need assistance from longtime friend Travis Tomasi. Trav, I know you being a bald guy. Yeah. I know you brought a, uh, a towel. Yes, I did. Very nice. Yep. I Mind did. if we swear sweat in for fact, a little bit? Well, in fact, I have a spare, I think. <laughs> you have a spare towel. With the use of a towel now secured, the former teammates on the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit turn their attention to the first of the match's 10 stages. Kind of combine them with this array, maybe? I'd like to combine them as much as we can. Yeah. Travis is one of those guys I just, you know, thoroughly enjoy and just love, you know, being around. And anytime we're competing, we try to help one another. We're students of the game. We break things down to every single little detail. The two aren't competing head-to-head -head this week. While Max is shooting in the open division, Travis is shooting limited, and he's up first. Stand by. If you are finished, I'll notice you clear. Now it's Max's turn. It's a blistering start. And holster range is clear. 11.28 seconds with just two hits outside the A zone. There was also an unforeseen distraction, which Max turned into a positive on the fly. About halfway through the course of fire, there was three targets on the left side that weren't taped. Um, so typically, you know, you should get a reshoot for that because maybe they can't score it correctly or, you know, typically to throw off a shooter or something, but I use it as a training tool. I saw it. And I didn't. I tried not to let it affect me personally shooting. There's my buddy that shot just before me, and he had shot all A's, so it kind of motivated me to shoot all A's right behind him. Good first stage. Good, good start. Okay. Um, so the bolt can be back. Okay. Clint Upchurch has finally made up his mind on attacking the long-range rifle portion of his opening stage. So I think I finally have settled on the right decision, which is to go prone. But rifle is only part of the equation. To get there, he'll first navigate a set of shotgun targets, followed by a sequence with the pistol. And he'll have to do it all while fighting the first stage jitters. The pressure that I put on myself and being the first stage of the day, first stage of the match, um, you know, you, you always get jitters a little bit, but it just seemed like I had them a little bit worse today than usual. Stand by! Hit! 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 Get all the hits with the shotgun, move to the pistol. Crushed all the steel. Call the paper targets, get rid of it, get to the rifle, pick it up. And just like, just like my finger, I could not pull the trigger hard enough. Nothing's happening. It's a minor misstep that's all but imperceptible. I just get, didn't get the safety all the way off. Hit! Hit! Going prone proves a wise decision, as Clint is nearly Hit! flawless on the long-range targets. Hit! Fast. Thank you. The run is more than four seconds faster than his nearest challenger. Good run, brother. Thank you, man. 
of dude. one perceived hiccup. Did you see the safety with the rifle? <laughs> I was pulling on that trigger, dude. I was just like. Is all Clint can focus on. Just pulling, pulling on the trigger, nothing happening. Safety's on. That's awful. I don't know what happened there. I've never, I mean, even in practice matches, I've never had a problem with just getting a safety owner off. And in my mind, that wasn't the best run that I could have had. It wasn't a bad run by any means, but little mistakes like that. You can't have that happening. A solid opening run at the USPSA Area 7 Championship has boosted Max Michelle's confidence. But the second stage, at least in the eyes of a perfectionist, is a mess. Clip. Wasn't good, dude. I got the whole stuff. Definitely not happy with that one. You get what you get. You don't throw a fit like my kids say. For Jerry and Kay Mitchellack, the 2012 shooting season is one of new adventure. Their 17-year-old daughter, Lena, has been bitten by the family gun bug and is now regularly competing alongside her world champion parents, who are still adjusting to the idea. I'm trying to be in the moment for my stages, and I see Lena shooting. When I, when I see a miss, I go, yeah! I want to run over there, <laughs> try to correct her, but uh, that's the father thing coming out. It's more stress, definitely. I, I, the problem is when she doesn't do well, it's like, it's, it's like I didn't do well. I remember when she was small, I was changing diapers and they would call my name to shoot a stage. So now I'm not, I'm, now I'm chasing her, but uh, same thing. I'm basically, I'm lucky to have her here. So I'm just uh, having a good time. But he has more fun when he wins. And this stage is a potential killer. Out of the nine stages in the match, this particular stage is the hardest one. It has the highest disaster factor. The biggest concern is the clay targets that Lena struggles with. Each miss is a 10-second penalty. You got five misses? Yeah. What, what part of my pen are you? Ouch. When you shoot against these guys at this level, if you beat them by one or two seconds, it's a good stage. So if I, if I go down 20 here, these guys are stomping all over me. There's no way I can go on another stage and pass them up at 20 or 30 seconds. So you have to shoot conservative. You have to make the hits. You have to just survive for the next day. Jerry gets through the clays cleanly. though it does take him three shots on the last one. I got underneath him about seven feet and let him run through some lead, and I, I got lucky and split him open, so I saved the 10 points. Out of bullets, out of stop. Two bullets, Bubba. <laughs> there Down go. to two bullets. Whew. Jerry escapes unscathed and will finish the match in sixth place overall. Not bad, especially considering a dad's brave new world. It's the learning curve thing on how to on how to interact in matches. It's kind of hard on on everyone because we have new people. Lena's another. I got to get ammo ready. Got to get guns ready. But I'd rather have her here than have her back home. Just outside Boston, Max Michel is beginning to find his groove. I shot those three on the move. Felt good too, man. As much as he values adding another victory to an already stellar season, Max's primary concern is the fast approaching USPSA handgun nationals in Las Vegas. He's using this match to work on something he knows will be at a premium in Sin City, shooting on the move. Some of my competitors, I've heard them made comments, and if you're watching, I know who you are. 
Um, I've heard you guys make comments that, you know, Max doesn't like shooting on the move. He prefers setting up and shooting and then kind of exploding out of position. So that's something I'm continuing to work on. And, you know, I'm testing out at matches. I'm excited about, you know, having this new you know, tool in my tool bag. And I'm looking forward to pulling it out at nationals. His next stage provides ample opportunity for practice, if not for monkeying around. Every now and then you're gonna find that unique stage and the monkey stage was that unique one for me. Anytime there's large courses of fire or technical courses of fire, that's usually where I shine. That was an opportunity for me to kind of separate myself from the rest of the pack. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. You're finished unloading show clear. Here, hammer down and holster. There's many different ways you can shoot this one, you know, and I chose to do a lot more shooting on the move rather than staying stationary. And I just wanted to kind of be a little more aggressive and shoot while moving, and I, I, I feel like it paid off. It just kind of happens, you know, everything just flows. I'm like, oh, I'm moving and I'm shooting A's, and I'm, I don't know, it's good. Go fight it. No. Hot Shot, presented by Cheaper Than Dirt, is brought to you by Cheaper Than Dirt, America's ultimate shooting sports discounter. Daniel Defense, lighter, Stronger, better. Mossberg and the 930 JM Pro Series, the official shotgun of Jerry Michelak. NRA Sports. And by Colt. Champion three gunner Clint Upchurch shoots the Colt CCR Pro. Suited up for battle. I feel like a wrestler or something with all this junk on, man. In Kentucky, Clint Upchurch has already waited more than two hours to shoot his next stage. And now, the shooter before him is waiting on a match official to show up for a ruling. <laughs> you know, I'm just chomping to the bit, like, let me go, man. Let me hurry up and shoot this thing. Like most three-gun stages, this one is a mixture of pistol, rifle, and shotgun. And Clint feels like he's as ready as he can be. I'm just ready to go. You know, I've been looking at, looking at this stage and looking at it, and I'm just ready to go. I'm ready to let loose on this thing because i got a good game plan, and uh, this stage is about to get crushed. With the ruling made and the stage cleared, Clint is on the line. Yeah. Everything pretty much goes as planned. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Get through all the rifle targets, no problem. Got hung up on one piece of steel and pistol targets. This went to war with this one. It's a good stage. Nice. Thanks, man. Thanks. Good run, bro. Thanks. Smoke and run, Clint. Thank you. A good stage and a great match. A dominant performance that leaves Clint with his second straight victory. Just a good weekend all together and uh, something I needed. I needed a win and uh, needed, needed some shooting that I could feel good about. But I didn't need it as much as I needed this new lamp. How do you like the trophy from the match? It's an actual AR-15 lamp. Carson's got his first soccer game tomorrow. Oh, That's awesome. why I'm flying back tonight. He's awesome. all pumped. I sent you that picture, you know? He's, yeah. all, he's all excited, man. Winning provides Max Michel all the motivation he needs. But with his four-year-old's first soccer game in New Orleans in the morning, simply finishing has moved up the list. Daddy's gonna be there, buddy. I'm coming home soon. To get to the airport in time, Max will have to jump ahead of his squad and shoot the final two stages by himself. When you're shooting through like that, the results are usually never very good. Number one, because you don't have anybody to bounce ideas off of. And number two, uh, because you're probably going to miss something and you're just kind of rushing through it. Got through the first course of fire, no issues. Um, everything went pretty well. I'm looking forward to the next one now so I can get out to my plane, but you know, this is gonna be the one that I really have to walk through as much as possible.
His last stage of the day is one he wishes he weren't alone for. So many different ways to do this. Doing it all on your own is difficult. You know, having that walkthrough buddy is so much needed. Are you ready? Stand by. Finished, I'm so oh man, I tell you, I felt like I was a man on an island there, you know, just all by myself and trying to figure out this course of fire. And this was probably the most difficult one to figure out. This was a great stage, a great way to end the competition for me. And it went well. I shot all A's on every target except for one target. Ah. Max Michel's match is over. And hours later, he'll learn that he did, in fact, earn another win. With handgun nationals looming, it's a great sign that the defending champion is just about ready. Well. But a certain soccer game. Now we race and we hope that Boston traffic is good. What do you think, Carson? Did you score a goal? Follow Hot Shots TV on Facebook and Twitter for a chance at prizes that go bang. That's how we say thanks for watching.